Pass is complete. Judging underway at the trot, please. Now underway at the trot, please. And starting with our Lower Rob entry then, when you get to the corner then, we will call for the reverse, please. Taking instruction from your ringmaster, Mr. Hans Berger. Starting with our Lower Rob entry, we'll call for the reverse, please. Ladies and gentlemen, what you're seeing right now is reversing on the diagonal. That's what we call it here in the draft horse world. As you can imagine with these big horses, they don't turn real quickly or easily. So we reverse across the diagonal of the ring to make it nice and easy on the driver and uh, make the horses have an easier time turning. Gives the judge a chance to look at each of the horses in the turn. Some horses go better clockwise while others perform better counterclockwise. This is reversing on the diagonal here in our Belgian cart class. Thank you, drivers. Down to the walk, please. Thank you, drivers. Return to the trot, please, if you would, at the trot. And starting with our Lower Rob entry, then we will call for the lineup, please, starting with our Lower Rob entry. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our Belgian card class. So our judge Doug Hobman walking the line right now. He's going to walk in front of each of these carts. He's going to inspect them for correctness of harnessing and cleanliness, and he's going to ask them each to back and return to the line. As you're watching the back, look for a nice straight back and return to the original spot in line.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we do have the results now of class number one. It is our $550 Belgian card class. We'll welcome to the winner's circle this afternoon, number 377. It's the Lower Rob Dairy Farm Belgian card. Mark Perry driving out of East Bethany, New York. Correction, Jocelyn Berry driving the Laura Rob Dairy Farm Cart, our winner this afternoon in our Belgian cart competition. Second place, we'll congratulate number 203, or 303, sorry, that's Rock Bottom Farm. Dusty Bezak drives for E.H. Perkins in Stowe, Massachusetts. And Janet Perkins driving our Rock Bottom Farm entry. Janet Perkins. Third award, we'll congratulate 340. It's Scott Love driving the Hammersmith Belgians for Craig and Chris Hammersmith of Defiance, Ohio. Fourth award to 319, it's the Sherwood Groves Farm entry. Don Sherwood driving for Roger Toms of Aaronsburg, Pennsylvania. In the fifth, 344, the Donnell Belgians. Matthew Deering shows for Russell Carpenter of Middlebury, Vermont. And the sixth award to number 300, that's the Iron Horse Hitch, Leonard Weiss Jr., the owner and driver from Bradford, Rhode Island. Well, ladies and gentlemen, give it up one more time for our winner of the Belgian card class this afternoon. It's Jocelyn Berry driving to victory for Laura Rob Berry Farm, taking their blue ribbon back to East Bethany, New York. Next up on the schedule is class number two. It is our $550 Perch Run Gelding card class. Expecting six in this one. Class is complete. Judging underway now at the trot, please. Drivers underway at the trot, please. Ladies and gentlemen, these are your Percherons, different breed than the last breed you saw. They come in mostly black and white with the occasional roan.
This is a gelding class, which if you are familiar with spaying and neutering your pet, this is the equivalent of a neutered horse. So this is your gelding class. All of these horses are neutered males. And starting with our flat rock entry then, we will call for the reverse, please. Starting with our flat rock cart, call for the reverse, please. And down to the walk, please. Drivers at the walk, please. Trot, please. Return to the trot, please. And once again, starting with our flat rock entry, then we will call for the lineup, please, starting with our flat rock entry. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the Percheron Geldings competition all lined up. Judge is now going to walk this line of horses and ask each of these to back and return to their original spot in line.
The results are official now in class number two. It has been our Percheron Gelding Cart Competition. First place in Blue Ribbon Honors will welcome to the winner's circle number 485. It's Gregory J. Rowe driving for the Flat Rock Draft Horses. Gregory from Bellevue, Ohio. Gregory J. Rowe, winner of our Percheron Gelding Cart Competition. In second place, driving out to your left, number 493, it's Dale Mattoon, driving for Pine Hollow Dairy of Lock, New York. Third award to 399, that's Hannah Deer, driving for HD Rapid Percherons in Lisbon, New York. Fourth place, we'll congratulate 475. It's Mark Hochstetler driving for White Mountain Percherons and Julian Justin Hussey of North Conway, New Hampshire. In the fifth, number 304, it's Bill Cario driving for Dreamland Farm in Roxbury, Connecticut. Sixth place, the number 317, it's Fox Hollow Movers and Kimberly Fox of Syracuse, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together one more time for the Percheron Gelding Cart winner, Gregory J. Rowe of Bellevue, Ohio, driving the Flat Rock Draft Horse Percherons to victory this afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to take just a couple minutes in the back. They are still hitching our next class, the New England-owned ladies team hitch class. As you can probably imagine, switching horses around when they're this size does take a little bit more time than it would for one of the light horses. So our New England-owned ladies team hitch still getting hitched up right now. And uh, we'll be waiting for them here for a few minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, while we are waiting then, we will introduce you to our organist. She comes from New Waterford, Ohio. We'll listen to the music of Amy Paradise Braden.
looks like our hold has resolved itself now, so we are ready now to get underway with the next of our classes. It is the $500 New England owned ladies team hitch competition. Three entries making their way in. Ladies and gentlemen, this will be the first time this afternoon you get to see the big draft horse wagons that you're used to seeing in many parades around the country. The team hitch means that there are two horses pulling these, and New England owned means that all of these come from the New England states up here. So our New England owned ladies team hitch competition, ladies driving these teams, making their way in right now. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hobby Noel Clydesdales and Andrea Anderson on the box. The Belgians of Rock Bottom Farm, ladies and gentlemen. And rounding out our competition, the Iron Horse Hitch Belgians. Drivers underway at the trot, please. And starting with our Hobby Knoll entry, then we will call for the reverse, please. Hobby Knoll entry starts the reverse, please. Miss Anderson, if you would. And thank you drivers, down to the walk please. At a walk please. And thank you drivers, we ask you to return to the trot please. Back to the trot. And once again, starting with our Hobby Knoll Farm entry, then we will call for the lineup, please. Starting with our Hobby Knoll entry, lining up, please.
The results official now in class number three. It has been our New England owned ladies team hitch competition. Winner driving out to your left will congratulate number 303. It's Jen Canero driving for Rock Bottom Farm and E.H. Perkins in Stowe, Massachusetts. Jen Canero, winner of our New England owned ladies team hitch competition here at the Big E. Second place, we'll congratulate number 300. It's Dana Cushman driving for Iron Horse Hitch and Leonard Weiss of Bradford, Rhode Island. And the third award to 495. It's the Hobby Knoll Stables, Andrea Anderson driving for Philip Anderson of Duxbury, Massachusetts. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, put your hands together for the Rock Bottom Farm entry. Our winner of the New England Owned Ladies Team Hitch Competition, Jen Canero on the box, driving to victory today for E.H. Perkins in Stowe, Massachusetts. There they go one more time. They'll be back later this week. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to take just a couple minutes and uh, wait for our next competition to get underway. They are rehitching back there, and we'll be back underway here with our novice driver team hitch competition. Three entries in that one. Three.
So I'm told that the hit's just about ready to go, so we should be with us here in just a couple minutes. Hit's just about ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, our conflict has resolved itself. Everything all hitched up now. Our novice drivers making their way up the chute. is complete. Drivers underway at the trot, please. Underway at the trot, please. And starting with our Pine Hollow hitch, then we will call for the reverse, please. Starting with our Pine Hollow hitch, we will reverse, please. And thank you drivers, down to the walk please. At a walk please.
Hey, return to the trot, please, if you would. Drivers, returning to the trot, please. And once again, starting with our Pine Hollow entry, then we will call for the lineup, please. Starting with our Pine Hollow entry, we will call for the lineup, please. gentlemen our novice driver team hitch competition Ladies and gentlemen, we do the results now of class number four. It has been our novice driver team hitch competition. Driving out to your left will be our winner, number 487. May need to check that number. So correction on the numbers should be 319. It's Sherwood Groves Farm. Laura Reese driving for Roger Toms of Aaronsburg, Pennsylvania. Sherwood Groves Farm and Laura Reese, the winner of our novice driver team hitch competition. We go once again winner of our novice driver team hitch competition the sherwood groves farm and laura reese in second place we'll congratulate 495 it's casey morrison driving the hobby knoll hitch for philip anderson of duxbury massachusetts and in third we'll congratulate 493 it's colleen mattoon driving for pine hollow dairy and Dale Mattoon of Locke, New York.
And ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together one more time for our Novice Driver Team Hitch winner. Please congratulate and give them a nice big E send off. The Sherwood Groves Farm Team. Laurel Reese handling driving duties this afternoon for Roger Toms of Aaronsburg, Pennsylvania. Ladies and gentlemen, the final class of our afternoon competition is the North American Classic Seas Classic Series Open Cart Competition. It is part of the Classic Series Six Horse Hitch Competition that travels all over the country. This is one of the qualifying shows for the 2019 championship. This is the Open Cart Competition. 17 entries in this. We are split into two sections, one of eight and one of nine. Here comes Section A of the North American Classic Series Open Cart Competition. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're enjoying the draft horses right now, you're going to enjoy what's coming up right after our show. Internationally renowned Australian horseman and entertainer Guy McLean will be performing right here, center ring, in the Coliseum, immediately following our last show at this last class right here. We have it, section one, underway at the trot, please. If you would, drivers, underway at the trot, please. North American Classic Series Open Card Competition, part of the North American Six Horse Hitch Classic Series that has become the most prestigious draft horse event in the continent. Thousands of spectators have cheered on the tremendous draft horse hitches at venues like Toronto's Royal Winter Fair, the Washington International Horse Show, Kansas City's American Royal, and right here at the Big E in Massachusetts. Six gleaming one-ton horses create a spectacle as they stomp the arena, outfitted with their leather and chrome harnesses the open card, part of the classic series. And starting with the HD Rapid Cart then, we will call for the reverse please, starting with our HD Rapid Hitch. Call for the reverse please.
Thank you, drivers. Down to the walk, please. At a walk, please. Trot, please. And once again, starting with our HD Rapid Cart, then we will call for the lineup, please. Starting with our HD Rapid Cart, we'll call for the lineup, please.
All right, drivers, we'll ask you to drive out to your right and head to the holding area, please. Driving out to your right, please. So ladies and gentlemen, as soon as this group does dismiss to the holding area, then we will bring in section B of our open card competition. Then our judge will make his final determination and we'll have results for you after that. 17 of these to see, nine in the second section. So just waiting on two more as they make their way up the chute, two more, here they come. So our final entry making their way from the back. So they are stapled all the way out back, making their way through the crowds. And we'll call the class to order. Drivers now underway at the trot, please. If you would, underway at the trot, please.
Okay, starting with our flat rock entry then, we will call for the reverse, please. Starting with our flat rock entry then, reversing section B. And thank you drivers, down to the walk please, down to the walk please. Trot please, return to the trot. And starting once again with our flat rock entry there, we will call for the lineup. Please, drivers, as you line up nice and tight, Mr. Hansberger will direct you. We are going to try to bring second section in to line up across the ring. So nice and tight when you do the lineup, please. So we'll open the gate then, and uh, section A, you can return. Driving into your right, please, looping straight to line. Skinner's returning nice and tight, if you would, on the lineup. We do have to get 17 across the middle here. Nice and tight, if you would. Looks like everybody is okay here. So 
right. Nice round of acknowledgement as they exit. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, 16 tons of horsepower is sitting before you in the arena, part of our North American Classic Series Open Cart Qualifier for the national competition. Judge Doug Hobman walking the line now, making final decisions, and we should have results for you in just a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, as soon as this competition does end, we will be having a special treat for you, internationally renowned Australian horseman and entertainer, Guy McLean, will be joining us right here in the Coliseum for a performance right after this. We are going to take a few minutes and recondition the surface with the tractors. We'll be quick, and then Guy McLean making his first appearance here at the Big E in 2018. So we are putting a few on the rail for a drive off. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the drive off underway at the trot, please. Cheer on your favorite. Let the judge know which one you think should take home top prize here in our North American Classic Open Card Series. And thank you very much, drivers. Drive off is over. You can return to your lineup spot, please. Returning to the lineup. Results coming up in just a moment.
Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we do have official results now of class number five, part of our North American Classic Card Series. This has been the open card competition qualifier here at the Big E. What do you think, folks? How about a hand for the drivers before we do results? So each of these drivers in this competition do get points towards that North American finals, so we will acknowledge from 17 down to first. Only the top 10 will be receiving ribbons, so acknowledgement from 17. In 17th place, we'll congratulate number 478, Donnie Lenser of Winter Spring Farm. In 16th place, we'll congratulate number 489, Thirty-nine and sixteenth place, Scott Enslin. In fifteenth place, we'll congratulate four seventeen. It's Clark Gregg of Kingpin Farm. Fourteenth place, we'll congratulate 436. That's Lewis Biddle of Oak Hall Farm in Bullsburg, Pennsylvania. In thirteenth, acknowledging in thirteenth place, number 317, Kimberly Fox of Fox Hollow Movers in Syracuse, New York. Twelfth place acknowledgement to number 319, Don Sherwood of Sherwood Groves Farm, owned by Roger Toms of Ahrensburg, Pennsylvania. And our eleventh place acknowledgement, we'll congratulate 399, that's Hannah Deer in the HD Rapid Percheron of Lisbon, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, now we're down to our top 10. These will all get ribbons. So in 10th place, our 10th release ribbon, we'll congratulate 493. That's Dale Mattoon showing the Pine Hollow Dairy Cart from Lock, New York in 10th place. Ninth award to 475, Mark Hochstetler showing for White Mountain Percherons and Julian Justin Hussey of North Conway, New Hampshire, ninth place. Eighth award to 476, Kathy Goodman showing for Bald Eagle Creek Farm and Craig and Kathy Goodman of Fawn Grove, Pennsylvania. Seventh award to 442. That's Jennifer Boltz of Pine Grove, Pennsylvania, driving for Darkwood Farm. Sixth award will congratulate 344. It's Matthew Deering driving the Donnell Belgian card for Russell Carpenter in Middlebury, Vermont. Fifth award to number 345, it's Wyatt Carball driving Trip Crest Farms, card for Jane Gray in Harrison, Maine. Fourth place to number 485, it's Gregory J. Rowe in the Flat Rock Draft Horses of Bellevue, Ohio. Third award to number 301, Nancy Robertson, driving the Stony Lake Belgian card for Daryl Drain. And we're down to our top two. In second place, we'll congratulate 377. It's the Low Rob Dairy Farm card, Jocelyn Berry, driving 
for Mark Berry of East Bethany, New York. Our second place award winner here in the open card competition. And then there was one. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the North American Card Series Open Card Qualifier will congratulate number 340, Scott Love, driving the Hammersmith Belgians for Craig and Chris Hammersmith in Defiance, Ohio. Winners of our North American Classic Series Open Card Competition. Make some noise as they head out. Ladies and gentlemen, the next cart that we're bringing in are the tractors. They are going to recondition the surface of the arena in preparation for internationally renowned Australian horseman and entertainer Guy McLean. He's coming up next. You're not going to want to miss this. Here come the tractors.